Uh, a federal judge uh, has now ruled that Virginia's ban on gay marriage is unconstitutional. That happened late yesterday. Uh, this is a quote from the ruling. The court finds blah, 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 and any other Virginia law that bars same-sex marriage or prohibits Virginia's recognition of lawful same-sex marriage from other jurisdictions unconstitutional. These laws deny plaintiffs their rights to due process and equal protection guaranteed under the 14th Amendment of the United States Constitution. Why is that so hard for um, these dull-wedded, idiots like Ted Cruz and Mike Lee to understand. And, and it's not just them. Uh, I mentioned them because, like I said uh, earlier in the program, they have together introduced a bill that would redefine uh, certain terms and, and uh, force uh, uh, legal discrimination to be visited upon people who happen to be gay. Uh, Ted Cruz and, and Mike Lee are, are as bad as the, uh, the, the slavers back in the 1840s and 1850s. Um, it, it, it's the same thing, to deny people equal protection under the law because of who they are or, or what they look like or um, um, whether or not they believe the same kind of bat crap that Ted Cruz and Mike Lee believes. That, that is simply... And, and it can't be it can't be put any more succinctly. It is unconstitutional. You cannot do that. Uh, I've said before that I lived in Virginia, uh, in Richmond, at a time when it was still illegal in 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 Virginia, if not other states, for people of different races to get married. There was a case, Loving, that was the name of the, 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 the people that filed uh, the uh, complaint and, and went to court, Loving versus Virginia. This couple, one was black, one was white, got married, and the state of Virginia was going to throw them in jail for violating their miscegenation laws. Isn't that a pretty word? Miscegenation. <laughs> um, and the Supreme Court ruled, of course, I think this was in 1966, or 67, the Supreme Court ruled that such laws were simply unconstitutional. That was the end of it. That was the end of it. Whatever states still had these laws, they fell. That was the end of it. If you're black or white or, or mixed race or whatever you are, and, 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 and separating people by race is ridiculous anyway, but if, 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 if we're going to do that, and, and you say to people, you're a citizen of the United States, but because of your sexual orientation, because of your, your, um, your race, because of, of where you came from, you're not going to have the protection that the U.S. Constitution guarantees to all citizens. We're going to make a special class out of you. You are not going to have the, the equal rights and equal protection that the rest of us have. You can't do that and still call yourself a democratic republic, which we're not anymore, but you still can't do it as long as we have this constitution that all these right-wing monsters swear fidelity to. That's not difficult stuff to understand. That's real simple. Real simple. And yet these right-wing bastards continue. They just continue. So now Ted Cruz and Mike Lee have come up with some idea. Well, we're just going to change everything around. And we got to stop the queers from getting married. Because you know what's going to happen next? And Cruz actually alluded to this. That, that Christian pastors would be forced to perform same-sex marriages. As if a same-sex sex couple gives a damn about a Christian minister who might not want to marry them or sanctify their marriage. You don't make a contract in a church. You make a contract with a lawyer or, or, or at the, uh, the county courthouse or you file it with the, uh, the, the, their legal papers. <laughs> I mean, what? Oh, Jesus God. The U.S. District Judge Arenda Wright Allen wrote that the constitutional right to equality should apply to all, including same-sex couples seeking marriage licenses. Um, Wright Allen, an Eastern District of Virginia judge in Norfolk, said, quote, Our Constitution declares that 
all men, quote, quote, are created equal. Surely this means all of us. While ever vigilant for the wisdom that can come from the voices of our voting public, our courts have never long tolerated the perpetuation of laws rooted in unlawful prejudice. One of the judiciary's noblest endeavors is to scrutinize law that emerge from such roots. Pay attention, Ted Cruz, you freakish bastard. This is the court talking to you. I know it's not a religious court. I know that's what you want, but you don't have it yet. The judge, Arenda Wright Allen, immediately stayed her own order to allow an appeal, meaning nothing immediately changes where it concerns marriage equality in the state of Virginia. The suit was filed by two Virginia couples, one of whom was already married. They were married in California, and their marriage license did them no good in Virginia. The couples are represented by right-winger Theodore Olson and left-winger, or not so left, David Boys. That's the bipartisan attorney pair known for winning the June 2013 case that restored marriage equality rights in California. Uh, oh, here it is. The judge began her opinion with an excerpt from Mildred Loving's book, Loving for All. Loving was a black woman banished from Virginia for marrying a white man. She brought her case to the Supreme Court, leading to the end of state miscegenation laws. And the judge concluded in this, this current case, with a salute to President Abraham Lincoln. This is what she said, quote, almost 150 years ago, as Abraham Lincoln approached the cataclysmic rending of our nation over a struggle for other freedoms, a rending that would take his own life and the lives of hundreds of thousands of others, he wrote these words, quote, it cannot have failed to strike you that these men ask for just the same thing, fairness, and fairness only. This, so far as in my power, they and all others shall have. The men and women and the children, too, whose voices join in noble harmony with plaintiffs today, the judge said, also ask for fairness, and fairness only. This, so far as it is in this court's power, they and all others shall have. So the judge in this case, Judge Arenda Wright Allen, took words from Abraham Lincoln, took words from, from Loving versus uh, the state of Virginia, merged them, and, pre and presented them in her ruling, and then immediately stayed her ruling, which is simply a, a, a legal tactic that, and, and I don't mean to use the word tactic in a pejorative way, but it's, it, it's a, a means and a manner in which the people who don't agree can appeal then, can appeal uh, to an appellate court. This was a federal judge, so now it goes to an appellate court, and you can bet your ass that these Christian bigots will, will, will do that. They will file an appeal, as they do all the time, to a higher court, and they continue to hope that, that their Lord and Savior will, will come down and abolish all these courts and set up the Christian equivalent of the Muslim Sharia law, which is just as insane, if not more so. Well, it's about the same level of insanity, because they all sp spring from the same desert freak Abraham who was willing to murder his own son in order to satisfy this vicious, vicious, bloodthirsty God that they had invented. Unbelievable stuff, man. Just un and, and people wonder why I bring this up all the time, this religious nonsense, because it is working its way like poison into everything that we do in this country and on the planet. Look at these religious Hindus and, and Muslims and Christians and to a lesser extent Jews that continue to push their crazed religious beliefs into everything we do until they get what they really want, total destruction. Aye.